Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am here every Sunday through Thursday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern time. Readings generally begin at 10.25 Eastern. They go live at 10.30, so you can pop in the chat five minutes prior to the reading beginning. You should chat with everyone. If you wanna get a personal reading with me, there's a link in the description description box below where you can book a reading. You can also join my OnlyFans. Go ahead and click that link and that will take you to my socials and everywhere else you need to go. You can also become a member of my channel. So thank you for being here. Now let's get on to your reading. All right, you guys, let's get into your reading for the rest of October. Let's see what is going on. What are your messages? Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Okay, don't forget to go over to my Moon Pie Tarot channel where I upload readings Monday through Friday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern. It's always one hour before this reading, so definitely go check that out. Okay, ooh, you have passion. Wow, insane chemistry, liking each other equally, having fun. Okay, cool. Well, heartbroken in reverse. Okay, we're dealing with that. That's good. Ooh, I know what this is. All right no longer deeply hurt sad no more separation no breakups no longer feeling lost no more grieving no more mourning oh what's going on looks like you're meeting somebody okay we'll see and you've got sunglasses sideways <laughs> that's funny i kind of feel like somebody's like peeking through the side glass their sunglasses like peeling pulling them down looking at you Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting. All right. No, no gaslighting. Well, gaslighting. Yeah. Okay. Just kind of like pretending, pretending that you, you can't see me. You can't see me. Little John Cena action going. You can't see me. <laughs> I'm so old. Okay. So, all right. So I see you. You're kind of sitting out at the Starbucks or wherever you get, you're having your coffee. All right, Virgo. I see you. You're sitting there on your little your little uh your your laptop you're doing your thing you're on your phone and there's someone sitting across the across the way there from you and they're having their little coffee or they're having their little ice cream or whatever somebody's doing and they're peeking at you through their sunglasses and they're kind of looking at you and uh you notice them you're gonna see them i see it you notice them you see them looking at you and this person's very nice looking and they're giving you a little tension and oh, there's Virgo, a little smirk. Virgo's got a little smirk coming up the side of their face there. And then, oh, 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 oh okay, and this person, yeah, they, they kind of nod their head, give a little smirk and a smile, catching eyes, yep, catching each other's eyes. Okay, Virgo, you have a little admirer. Yes, you do. All right, little bit of passion going on here. Okay, so all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Virgo's not thinking about that other person from before. Yep, look, the other person, not today, it might be trying to reach Virgo. Call in, Virgo's like, nope, nope. Nope, nope. Let me just <clears throat> put this phone on vibrate. Okay, because I get somebody else who's interested. Virgo's not talking to somebody here. I'm going to avoid them. Yes, yeah, so what's going on here? Virgo's like, I still got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Virgo, yeah, that's what's going on here. This is a cute little reading. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, it's cute. Look. Virgo, you left something. You walked away from something. You're out. You're walking through town. You're shopping. You're on a little adventure, doing a little hike. You're doing your things. You're out meeting people. You might just be grocery shopping. Maybe you're just running errands. Who the hell knows what you're doing? But this right here, you're out and about. You're by yourself, okay? You're doing whatever you're doing. Some of you got some red boots. You got your, these boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. 
And one of these days these boots are gonna walk all over you. <laughs> Some of you are a little kinky. But yeah, you, you or maybe you have a red coat. You're doing something. You're walking. Yep, you're walking past the store. Walking past the store, there's a lot of vases. Maybe it's a liquor store. Okay, coffee shop. You're doing something, but somebody's got their eye on you this month, Virgo. And uh, I see someone coming over and asking if um, they could get you another coffee. They could get you a coffee or ask you what you're having or what you're drinking. It doesn't have to be coffee. It could be a drink, too. Somebody's buying you a beverage for sure. Okay. They go over. They leave where you're sitting. Virgo's had like freaking eight coffees already because Virgo's got work to do. Virgo's like, oh, yeah, that's fine, that's fine, yeah, oh, I'll take another, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Virgo's on like going for the ninth beer. Nine shots, not a problem. That's fine. Everything's fine. Just give me another fireball. No, I can walk, I'm fine. Nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. Yeah, so somebody, go somebody comes up, asks you what you're having. They go get another one for you. Absolutely. There's a little love thing happening here. And the passion. Ooh. Yeah, we used to have a drink back in the 80s. Maybe 90s. Well, I might have had a, I might have been able to get into a bar before I was 21. I might have done that. I, I'm not saying. I can't tell you. I might have had a fake ID. I'm not going to say. But we used to have this drink called Purple Passion. And I was like really into purple. Yeah, we had this drink called Purple Passion. It was vodka and it was no idea. <laughs> I think it was cranberry and grenadine or I don't know what made it. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was good. I just remember that. Or grape juice. It was delicious. Okay, so, um, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, two eights. Somebody was born in 1988. Okay. Yeah, Virgo, yeah. There's definitely... Um, there's definitely a night out. There's definitely a night out on the town with someone. You're going to be seeing visions. You're going to be having... If you're, if you're doing some over 21 beverages be careful be a little bit careful you might be seeing apparitions some of you there's going to be um the halloween party <laughs> somebody's going to be dressed as a ghost okay for sure um oh okay they just showed me a ghost with glasses on that is hilarious I'm, they're showing me a ghost with sunglasses. Where have I seen that? A ghost with sunglasses. First, they just gave me um, Tom Cruise from Risky Business. They just showed me that, but then they showed me with a sheet over his head with sunglasses. Okay, that's so old, old school. But, you know, it could happen, I guess. But I'm seeing that, yes, a ghost with sunglasses. So that's kind of funny. I don't know. That must be from somewhere, but I don't know. You might be going to a Halloween party. That's kind of a clever little costume. <laughs> Maybe a ghost with glow-in-the-dark sunglasses. Um, so, yeah, there might be, like, a party or something as well that you go to with this person later. They invite you to. Yeah, there's some beverages, some drinks. There's a, there's a, a fog machine. I'm seeing a fog machine as well. Okay. Yes. I see a lot of time you spend with this person. It's not just October. I'm seeing um, a holiday wreath. Uh, I see like a dragon festival. Um, I'm seeing some castles in Europe. They're giving me these like visions of these future images. I'm also seeing um, someone's a hairdresser uh, as well. Um, and I'm seeing um, gemstones or jewels or jewelry. Okay. Could be an earth sign that you're connecting with as well. This is a very predictive reading. I just want you to know this is very predictive. 
for October. I know yesterday and the day before was very spiritual readings, but these are coming out very predictive. Okay, so of course Virgo's going to analyze the shit out of this. Like, well, who's this person? What's going on? What's going on? Once you sober up the next day. <laughs> what did I do last night? Virgo's on the computer. Like, send me the pictures. Send me the pictures. Looking at all the pictures. Like, okay, 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 okay. Um, so let's see what's going on here. Oh, just when I said spiritual reading. <laughs> Virgo, no, they just said you're going to be looking at the pictures and like praying to Jesus on the cross. Please tell me I did not do that last night. Please tell me I did not say that. Is that what I was wearing? Is that what I was doing? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm telling you, be careful. You will be like, if you're a drinker, I'm not, this is only for those of you that like to have your drinks. You might have a little... You might go a little overboard, so just be careful. Make sure you drink a lot of water and that you have a lot of food in you to soak it up. Um, so we've got Pisces energy here. You know, Virgo, I feel like you're going to be in dreamland with this person. I really do. Show me this hangman. Oh. Yeah, this person comes across to me as someone who's very generous, very kind. They, they do some kind of like charitable work. I mean, they might have a regular job and they do this on the side. Or they... <clears throat> or that this is their job. They might do fundraising or work for some kind of non-profit charitable work or something. Oh, that could be you. You might find out that you actually know them. You have some type of maybe distant connection to them through some kind of char charity group of some sort as well. Um, yeah, I feel like, because I also get a sense that, because that's you, I do feel like you're going to look them up after you spend some time with them. You're going to do, Virgo's going to get on the computer and like, all right, let me get my credit card out and pay the $4.99 and do a background check. Let me just get a little more information on this person. <laughs> yeah, let, let me run their let me run the digits. Let's see. You're gonna find some nice stuff. I don't feel like you're gonna find anything bad about this person. You know, like they pay all their bills. They take care of their kids. <laughs> they paid their child support off. They pay their debts. They paid their loans off. They're good. You, you definitely like because that's what the hangman. I, I feel like that's like seeing things from a different point of view, getting a different angle. So you're definitely gonna be kind of like going where the sun don't shine to get their credentials, that kind of thing. You will. I feel like you're gonna find some some interesting stuff out about them. Um, not crazy stuff. It's just you're gonna find more information out. But I like it. I like the way this is going. Um, let me see. It's very predictive. Okay, this is not someone from your past. <laughs> and you will no longer be about the past. I'm telling you right now, my whole deck is in the upright. And this just showed up in the reverse. For the first time in how long? This is definitely somebody new. And if anything, and I feel like I said that in the beginning, this is a new start to something. And remember, you were having so much of these major shifts and changes happening the past two days. <clears throat> You're not even going to be thinking about your past persons because you, you've you got this new stuff. Like, you've, like either you have healed from your heartbreaks or you've got someone new. Listen, there's an old saying. The best way to get over someone is to get under somebody else. I don't really subscribe to that advice but if there's one thing i will say there is some truth to it because it does distract you <laughs> from the past person it does from your or your pain i should say or your breakup you know i think maybe taking time out and just kind of staying on your own is the better thing to do and maybe you know the best way to get over someone is to get on a learn to skateboard or maybe go learn to fly airplanes i think that's 
well, that might not be the safest thing, but STDs are not the safest thing either. So I think it's probably maybe the 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 better of the two, right? <laughs> or maybe just take up crocheting. I don't know what to tell you. But I think that a distraction is the best thing. And I do feel like you've got something here to look forward to as far as love goes. And I don't feel like this is really going to be a distraction in a sense where it's not going to be a good distraction. This is going to be a beautiful distraction. You know, and I feel like if you were stuck on your pain or stuck on trying to figure out what happened in the past or stuck on someone from your past that you just couldn't figure out why you can't let go of them, maybe this person is coming in as like someone to give you comparison to see what life could be like with a different type of a person for you. Someone who's very charitable and giving and reciprocal and loving and caring, um, like goes out of their way, you know, to do this type of thing for people who are in worse positions than themselves where they don't need the money. They do it out of the goodness of their heart because look at this person. Like this person's wealthy. They've got money. They're doing it out of fairness and, and because it's the right thing to do. This is justice, you know? He doesn't need the money. He's not getting paid to do this. He's already got the money. He's obviously, you know, he, I mean, he's he's giving because he can. I mean, whatever's in, in his pocket, he's jet, he's donating it, you know. Um, he's not doing it for money. Unless he's working in that type of a, a job. But people that work in those types of jobs don't often choose to work in those types of jobs they could get jobs like that doing anything that you know and make that kind of money so there's some kind of line of work um that's appealing to this person that uh, working in that industry is appealing to this person where the helping and that's it, you know very similar to you of course in being serviceable in helping those in need Right, so I kind of went off on like a little segue tangent there. Okay, so yeah, bringing balance here. You know, this is a new kind of thing, so there's no way for me to get into how this person feels and if they're in love with you. There's definitely, it's generating interest. And, and so this is kind of like the beginning here. I can't get into the feelings about this person with you because I, I don't, I feel like you're just meeting. You know what I mean? But I feel like the roller coaster of emotion that you may feel like you, you are on just kind of neutralizes and levels out. Um, I see you weighing things out and coming to like, whereas before maybe you were just too focused on the one person, but now you've got two pentacles here. So now it's like, huh, things kind of come into balance, you know? And that's what I was saying. You've got that comparison. You know, so the the like, let's just say that past person that was significant to you before that maybe you were just too focused on, or just kind of was like a dead weight. Um, well, now you look at them and they're just kind of dropping down a little bit. Not that they're not, not that they don't lose value, but they're just kind of going down a little bit here. Yeah, you're still a little bit looking at them because this person's still kind of new. But this person is a little bit up here. You know, and then eventually you'll shift your weight on the other foot here. This will lighten. You'll turn your head and you'll see them. And then you'll start moving in their direction. And moving in the direction of your desires. You know? and your wishes and your fulfillment. So I feel like it's just a, just one look. It's just a look. It's the, all about the eyeglasses. <laughs> it's just this look that this person gives you and out of the corner of their eye, but then you see them looking at you. And they're kind of trying to get your attention wherever you are. And I see you two just kind of looking back, you know, it's in his look. It's in her look. That's how she's trying to get your attention. So, you know, um, whatever the sex is here, just smile back. And um, 
like I said, you don't have to chase anybody. Just um, chase people with a smile. That's all you have to do. You know, a smile says everything. A smile is an invitation to approach. You know, and if you're not smiling, nobody's going to approach you. <laughs> people approach a smile. And I feel like um, that's probably the best new love message coming in here. So I'm going to leave that. What I'm actually going to do, though, is I'm going to get into, I want to do Virgo with each zodiac sign. I, you know, I was going to save it for Friday because Friday we're doing the Friday the 13th spooky type of chat here where I am going to do, I haven't decided actually what I'm going to do. I might do a reading, um, but I'm going to leave it kind of open and just have like a regular chit chat. It's going to be open to everybody. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do questions like readings for members. I might save that for another day for you guys. We'll see. I might do it random, but sometimes when I leave it open and you guys pop in, it gets so wild and crazy. And then I get really, I'm not sure. So I'm going to let you guys know. We'll see how it goes. But it, it's just going to be kind of like very spooky. Maybe I'll tell like a spooky, a spooky, um, crime crime story wow would you like that <laughs> just tell a really spooky crime story Ooh, a haunted story <laughs> all right let's take a look here so i'm going to start with virgo if you're dealing with an aries and see how that message goes and then we're going to go all the way down the line and hopefully i will remember All right, so Virgo, if you're dealing with an Aries, what is Aries energy towards you? Okay, they're exhausted. <laughs> Virgo, Aries is exhausted at this time. They are burned out. They just want things to be okay. They just want things to be happy, successful. They want you to pay attention. They're, they're, Aries is like exhausted, they, I feel like Aries wants you to just appreciate them. They want, Aries is tired of working so hard. They want you to applaud them. They want their ego stroked. <laughs> Listen, it is what it is, Virgo. If you're dealing with an Aries, that's exactly right. Aries wants all the applause. They want all the attention. They want all of your... They want all of your rec they want you to recognize them. They want you to like give them good news. They want you to see how successful they are. They want you to think they're a winner winner chicken dinner. They they want you to applaud them. They want you to put they want you to you know surround them and and just be like, "Yay, Aries. Yay, Aries the best. You're the best. You're the best. You work so hard. You do so much for me. You're just they want you to be their biggest fan." They're exhausted. Maybe you don't think they are. Or maybe you're nitpicking them. No offense, Virgo. Come on. Sometimes it happens. Yeah. They want you to just give them a little. They want you to be in the audience. They want you to, like, sign their fan book. They want you to ask them for an autograph. <laughs> okay. All right, Virgo, if you're dealing with a Taurus, what is Taurus's energy towards you? Okay, Taurus wants to know where the hell you are. They want to know where you went. They want to know if you're with yeah, Taurus. Like, are we doing this or what's going on? Are you going to text me back? Are you going to call me back, Virgo? What the heck's going on? Are we doing this? Are we taking that trip? Are we traveling? Are you coming? What are you doing? I'm waiting here. Yeah. Are we going to the store? Are we shopping? Um, are we getting married? Are you gonna are we gonna commit? Are you committing? Do you still want to commit? Do you still want me to commit? Taurus 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 is like Oh, they're also Oh, okay, they're also saying uh, I'm not sure about committing. That's their energy toward you also. So it's going to go either either way. Okay, those are two separate messages. Um, they're thinking about it, Virgo. 
Oh, so they're thinking about it. Um, they're saying they're not sure about this long term. Um, they're not sure about going in front of the priest, or they're not sure about doing it in front of the judge. They're not, sure, not you know, the whole marriage thing. They're not sure about. They don't know how they feel about like the the marriage thing. Can we just like you know, can we just like tie a ribbon around our wrists and just tell the whole world that we're married? Can we just tattoo our fingers and just let everybody know that we're like in that we just decided on our own? They're not sure about things. They want to they want to be with you, but they're just not sure. They'll get back to you. They're gonna let you know, Virgo. They're not sure. Okay, Virgo. If you are dealing with a Gemini, Virgo. Okay. Gemini is trying to be fair. Huh. Well. Okay. Um, Gemini is the judge and jury when it comes to their kid. <laughs> it's their way or the highway. But they're trying to be fair when it comes to their child. That's what I just heard. Um, they have the legal right to do... This is what I'm hearing. They have the legal say over what they do with their kid. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. Um, but they also are going to tell you some truth. They have, they have something they want to tell you. Some truth to share with you about their child. Or just in general. Okay. Um... They also want to tell you that they're going to get they're getting a divorce. They may be getting a divorce as well. They also want um but this is um good news, okay? This is good news. They also want to tell you that um they may be getting married and this is to them good news, okay? Because the page of wands comes with excitement. Okay. Um they're also maybe telling you that they're getting custody of or they're going to file for custody for a child. It's interesting. Um, they also may be telling you that they are um, going to be, they're, they, they found out they're going to, they pass the bar, I'm hearing. They're passing the bar. They're going to be, they're going to work in the legal system or they get a job working in the legal system. It's not romantic at all. <laughs> Nothing romantic at all. Um, or they won a court case. They're winning a court case. Okay. Or you're winning a court case too. Or you're going to get custody of your child. or or So everything I said, it's either they are or you are. Okay? So it's all favorable to them or to you. Okay. All right. So if you're connecting with a cancer. All right. Got Hierophant again. Oh. Oh. oh, it looks like cancer. Um, if you had someone that passed away in your family, cancer wants you to know that they're truly sorry. I'm not predicting death, okay? I don't know why I have to say that, but some people are like, oh my God, I'm not predicting death. They're, if that has already happened, they feel very, very sorry. Sorry that they couldn't be there. I'm hearing. Sorry that they couldn't be there. Um, they're also... I'm also hearing that... Um, Cancer is dissolving a long-term committed relationship or a long-term marriage. Now, I don't know if that's with you or somebody else. But that's what I'm hearing. I just want to get one more card because... Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's some kind of... Something's ending. So... There's a there's some kind of a disappointment. 
something has ended um, in their life. I don't feel it might be with you. They might feel disappointed. There might be a cancer who's disappointed that something's ended with you or is ending. There's definitely disappointed. They're disappointed. With, not with you, but disappointed that something has ended or that there's a loss of some sort or that something has changed or there's a moving on. Okay. Okay, Virgo. So if you're connecting, you're dealing with a Leo. What is their energy towards you? If you're dealing with a Leo. Leo's energy towards you. Okay. Leo is temporarily ooh. Leo is take Leo ooh, they gave you three cards. Leo is temporarily taking some time out to lick their little kitty cat wounds. Yep. Leo is feeling some deep, deep emotions at this time. Not showing them at all, not sharing them with that moon, being very sketch, being very hidden. Um, Leo, I don't know if Leo feels deceived or feels like somebody's lying. Um, but I feel like Leo, Leo feels either very sensitive, very emotional, might have, um, might be Leo moon. The emotions are riding high with this Leo. Feels very hurt either by a breakup or is just pulling away or something that might have happened or some argument or something. They're just, psh, I'm out, I'm out. Don't call me, don't talk to me. We're separating, but it's temporary because they need to just go in and, and lick their balls for an hour or 10 hours or 24 hours, whatever. Lick the wounds, yep, clean the paws. Yeah, get the splinter out of the paw, whatever's going on. Yeah, sorry for being so vulgar, but that was what I saw. I was seeing like a dog, just like. So yeah, that's what's going on, okay. Leo's not, Leo's little ego got bruised. Leo, Leo has to like go regenerate the ego there. Okay, that's fine, see ya. Bye-bye. Okay, so let's see. Um, so if you're Virgo, dealing with a Virgo, what's Virgo's energy towards you? Okay, Virgo dealing with a Virgo. Oh, aw, how cute. Oh, so, okay. Oh, Virgo loves your dog. <laughs> Virgo loves your family dog. <laughs> Like every time Virgo comes to your place, Virgo wants to see your dog or your cat. Like there's like, uh, they're like, hey, hey fam, where's the dog? Oh, there's the dog. It's kind of weird, honestly. Like like your Virgo person is like super, super awkward and just like only like hangs out with the dog. Like Virgo's just like, doesn't want to talk to the people, doesn't want to, doesn't, this Virgo doesn't people. This Virgo does animal. Yeah. Oh, you get a puppy. Oh, you a puppy. Are the people treating you good? Yeah, this this Virgo. But yeah, just really likes to be around your family and, and your pets. And they love and your pets love this your Virgo. Yeah. Definitely. But yeah, your your person. Um, this person now just remember this you know it could be a friend or a family member a lover whomever um but just really likes to be in your energy they do like they but i'm sorry they're just really i don't know if they're into you or not i mean they really like your family atmosphere they feel like it's just right yeah you guys like your perfect family being with your family is like being with their family there's something that just fits and your dog just loves them and or your cat i mean look this is a lion so it could be a cat but i've never seen a freaking cat that big so it's it's a cat dog it's not a cat bird it's a cat dog okay 
So whatever you want to call it, your animal, your pet. It could be a bird. It could be a snake. I don't know. Maybe you have a ferret. I don't know what you have, but this person just likes the whole home, homey home atmosphere, you know, seriously. Likes to come over for the dinners and the holiday thing or the picnics and be, be with the kids and or really wants that, definitely. Maybe they've done it before. Um, they really enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah. Maybe even so much to the point where, you know, you guys could be a family, definitely. Um, and if you had that before, they miss it. Definitely miss it. Okay. All right. What's going on with the animals? What's going on with the animals? Okay, Virgo, if you are connecting with a Libra. Oh, wow. They threw stuff out right away here. All right. It is a strong message. And a king of swords. Okay. All right. So Libra's like, you know what, bitch? You know what, bitch? I'm moving on. I'm starting a new chapter. I'm going to get my healing. Yes, I'm going to renew myself. So Libra is, and you got the King of Swords, so. Um, Libra's moved to Hollywood. For some of you, Libra's moved to, Libra's, go, Libra's chasing the stars. Libra, the, Libra's going to be a musician. Libra's leaving. Libra's doing the whole new, like, still looking back, but just hey, letting you know, babe, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving on a jet plane. Don't know when I'll be back again. Uh, Libra is going to become a star. Libra wants to be a star. Libra wants to be um, famous, whether that's local, politician, musician, in the movies, whatever. Libra's going solo starting a whole new thing writing a book whatever it might be um on this healing journey uh, it seems like all of the remaining signs except for the virgo uh, i wouldn't be surprised if libra and scorpio and sag and capricorn aquarius are kind of doing their own thing but we'll see what happens but it looks like that's what's going on um, at least, well, maybe some of them. We'll see. But it looks like, um, yeah, I mean, Libra's being, Libra's open and willing to communicate, but it looks like Libra's on a destiny, uh, like chasing a destiny at this time, okay? Is on some kind of path to try to make something happen in their life. This looks like the final straw. It doesn't look like they're doing this until the end of the year. Um, they have some kind of plan with the world this is kind of like i gotta do this if i don't do it it's like if not now when it's one of those situations and it's involving travel or immigration um like i've got to like complete this i got it's just like a full circle kind of thing um and it doesn't show me anything of you not tagging along it's just showing me like um but i do feel like it's a solo kind of thing so it's kind of like I don't feel like they're saying I don't feel like Libra is saying you can't go I just feel like Libra is saying but I'm going so you if you want to tag along I mean that's up to you but it looks like it's definitely Libra's doing it yeah okay all right Libra go chase your dreams all right let's see Virgo if you are dealing with a Scorpio what is Scorpio's energy towards Virgo? Let's see. All right. Scorpio's got a gift for you or a new investment opportunity. Ooh. And, okay. Could be offering you a ring-a-ling-ling. -ling. Um, may want to get married. Um, could be offering, giving you a present for the holidays. Um, could be showing you their shiny new car. <laughs> or um, going to show you um, hmm. uh, it feels like it feels like they, they receive something and they want to share it with you and build something with you that they receive. 
So either they get like, they might hit that. Yo, did you guys, seriously, did you play your lottery ticket? Because that bitch is at $2 billion. I don't know what it'll be tonight. It's Wednesday. It, I, when is the drawing? I think it's late tonight. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I played for like several days because if nobody hits it, it's going to be even bigger on Friday. Um, I don't know. Maybe Scorpio is going to hit the two bill. Maybe you're going to get a slice of the pie. So yeah. Okay. Scorpio, like there's a celebration. Ooh, Scorpio. If you, any of them Scorpios listening and you hit that, you better go play the lottery. And if you do and you win, come on over, come on down. The price is right here. Send me a little. So um, it looks like, yeah, Scorpio might actually hit, get a little piece of the pie and might want to share the wealth or ask you to come celebrate with them. Um, hmm, that, you know, invite you to a family celebration or buy you some gifts um, or there's, a, there's, some, there's some kind of offering here for you as well. Now, the Ace of Swords it might offer you a job. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles might offer you a job. Um, there's new income, maybe pay off your house or make a pay offer a payment on your house or offer to buy your house or pay it off or something here. And that four of wands or maybe something to build a home, um, give money to your family. This could also represent, um, homecoming, um, a reunion, offer to buy you a ticket or, um, maybe buy you a plane if they hit it big, um, pay for a airfare or something you guys are definitely going to reunite there's a reunion they want to get together with you okay this is definitely going to be an hour reading okay let's see we are going to do virgo with sag yeah i think on friday we're going to do i'm going to find a really good um spooky story and i'm going to tell it that's what, because it's October 13th. It's Friday the 13th. So I'm going to do a spooky story. And you guys are just going to have to listen. And I'm going to have spooky music. <laughs> it's going to have to be like royalty free. And I'm going to have some drinks. What the hell's going on here? Sag is all about the money. All about the Benjamins. Okay. Sagittarius is putting the cart before the horse. I'm just going to say that right now. Sag is putting the cart before the horse. Sagittarius has some fantastical wild ideas when it comes to you. Um, and is making offers and will be making an offer to you that they can't back up. Just keep that in the back of your mind. Sag... Basically, another word of saying it is they're going to offer to buy you something and all they have is lint in their pocket. So it's kind of like false promises. That's the message. Straight and clear. Um, and that's why it's taking so long for them to produce because it's all ideas. And whenever somebody is all talk... All these ideas, all this stuff I'm going to do. They try, What they're doing is selling you a dream. Um, but they got nothing in the works, right? And, oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Nah, 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 nah. And you get hooked on that dream. You, 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 can't, you can't let people sell you on stuff. <laughs> Listen to me, right? You can't. You have to, like... At some point, it, it gets to the point like, okay, you've been talking about this for like like five months. What have you done? Have you gone to the bank and asked for the loan? Like you're talking about this idea, right? I, I just feel like that's the message. I don't know what, what Sagittarius is like talking about. I don't know if they're telling you things or, yeah, we're going to be married. Yeah, we're going to be married. Okay, well, have you gone to the courts? Have you put any money aside where's the ring yeah yeah no i'm getting your ring it's kind of one of those things like where 
and somebody keeps driving past a jewelry store and it conditions you to think that you're going to get married but never takes you in the store to get the ring right for the whoever the person is that is doing that right so no that's a message that that's just a message i'm going off and off on and on and on about that i feel like be weary they're, they just keep putting the cart before the horse they're they're trying to make promises and they're they're trying to tell you all the stuff that they're going to do but they have they can't back it up i hate sag right now what's the problem dude Ch you know like get it together i'll talk shut the mouth shut the mouth and move the feet okay let's see virgo dealing with a capricorn oh oh i'm sorry my cards were actually i picked whoa no they weren't okay no that's not no there that was another card that's in the reverse all right capricorn two of cups in the reverse sorry but i have to uh okay yeah that's what i thought oh no oh no all right listen virgo if this is you i'm sorry All right, so if you're hoping ca this Capricorn is, well, that's the message. That they're just, looks like that's not a good sign. Okay, now if you broke up with Capricorn, they're pretty busted up about it. Okay, um, yeah, even if it's a friendship. They're pretty busted up about it. If you did it to them, it, if they've done it to you, it's because they're just, there might be somebody else or something else interfered. Let me just get one more. But they're, it's their energy towards you. Yeah, it could go either way. I feel like the friendship is, you guys are in something happened here. Something's, there's a split up. Okay, there's definitely a breakup, a split up, a divorce, a separation. There's some kind of um, disinterest here or an argument that's caused you guys to split. Let me see one more just to get a little more clarity. Oh, you got to be kidding. You guys like Virgo, I'm sorry. Like when the cards speak, they speak there's grief i mean i will tell you that um with that card the capricorn is really grief stricken about this whether they caused it or you caused it don't matter or they're having to cause this separation or this breakup for whatever reason if they cheated if they're doing it they because they found somebody else and they feel bad about doing this doesn't matter that's the message they're broke busted and disgusted about it they know they're turning around they know like look two of cups was in the upright that was you and them now they got somebody else over here but they feel they feel like shit about it and i know some of you're like well good let them i don't give a shit i don't care that's their problem let them let them feel grief about it because they cheated or they're going like whatever right <laughs> okay fine you make it easier for me that's fine um but yeah this is what this is what i feel like is going on here okay like so whatever f them move on remember the beginning of the reading you got um you got risky business tom cruise sliding in your dms at the starbucks so everything will be good all right let's see Virgo dealing with an Aquarius. Crazy Aquarius. This video is going to take me so long to upload. <laughs> it's not even funny. Okay. Oh. Aquarius has, all right, their energy towards you. They have the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, what's going on here? What's Aquarius doing? Ooh. Well, it looks like Aquarius is...
man, you know what? They just said Aquarius like is some kind of a builder. Now I know Jesus was a Pisces. Now, no, people say Jesus was a Capricorn, right? That's the old because everybody says Jesus um was born in like December 25th, right? Cuz we celebrate December 25th. I mean, personally, I think I believe Jesus was a Pisces because Pisces are like so peaceful with people and Capricorns are not. So like I'm just sorry, but that's just how I feel. But anyway, um and the reason why I'm saying that is because Jesus was a carpenter. Now, Capricorns are pretty good with like rulers and and you know, math and stuff like that, but so are Pisces. So, I don't know why I'm bringing that up. I'm just feeling like a strong Pisces energy here for some reason, but but Capricorn is working on something for you. They're going to give you something like a gift. Honestly, I feel like they're making you something very earthy, like earthen. Like they're doing some woodworking, some carving. Um, either that maybe they're going to make you like a shillelagh or a walking stick. Um, or they're chopping the wood for the fireplace. Like they're doing, they're creating, maybe they're doing some like, I don't know, wood burning. Or they they do they're they're cre they're carving or creating a gift for you. I feel like gift energy. You know the wand, the ace of wand is always something inspirational and creative. They're having the urge to create. They're building something for you. And that eight of of pentacles is you know that's all about mastering the craft. So they've got some kind of. Um, Either something that they do for their job that they're building for you or something that they do on the side. Um, they're giving it to you. Now, I don't know why. They might be making it for you for the, for Christmas or something that you can sell. Maybe they're going to be working with you, you know, or you guys go in contract to do some kind of mass, in, mass sales of something that they make, like, You know, like they make a whole bunch of this product they produce a lot of it and then they give it to you to sell like there could be a business arrangement between you and this person but whatever it is like i'm telling you it's th that's what they're doing I, I know it's not romantic and i'm tremendously sorry <laughs> i mean i will say this though i will say this okay i'm going to give you this virgo like this person when they're done working, they just cannot wait to ravish you. I will say that. Like when they're not working, they work hard. So in between working, I'm just saying. It's either, hey, can you bring that thing to bed? I don't care what your gender is. Can you bring that thing to bed? Okay. I'm leaving that there. One last one. We get Pisces. And I'm going to end the reading because I just felt like doing a little bit differently today. You know, you guys have been changing things up lately. So, and my grandson is over. I just heard him come in. So we're going to go have dinner. And uh, yeah. All right. Virgo dealing with a Pisces. Oh. What's going on there? Huh. Hi, buddy. Oh. Virgo dealing with a Pisces. So you have, I don't know what's happening here. Okay, your, your Pisces just found out, I'm going to leave this, right? This is a straight specific message. Your Pisces just found out that their friend was trying to break you up. That's weird. That's the message. Your Pisces just found out that someone that they're connected to was trying to cause discord in your relationship. Yeah, yeah. Or some, that someone that they're connected to just realized that it wasn't your fault. That someone that they're connected to, or maybe someone that you're connected to, was the reason for the downfall or this, some kind of destruction or arguments or something like that. It was a reason for that relationship breaking up and it wasn't you. 
well, you're a Pisces or the Pisces that you have this reading for. And they come to this. They come to this. So the person that was connected to you or them is a fire sign. Leo. Sag. Aries. Okay. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Yeah. That person just came in and bam! Kapow! And then left. Until you guys didn't have the connection anymore. So... And they're coming. To, they're coming to realize. They come to realize this. This here is not your Pisces. Yeah, that's not your Pisces. Mm -mm. I don't care if they have fire in their chart. That's not your Pisces. This here, that's the mixture. That's you and this person. Because Virgo and Pisces are opposite on the zodiac wheel, and you two are standing opposite of each other. And this is a Pisces card. This is the Pisces. It might more so, like, if you're female, this fire sign might be behind you. If you're a female Virgo, the fire sign might be behind might be behind you. If the Pisces is male, they got their they got hurt by that fire sign. All right, you guys, that's craziness. I'm leaving that. That's a lot of energy I just expended. <laughs> and I'm I'm beat. I'm going to have more coffee. So, yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's what we're going to do on the 13th. We're going to do, um, definitely I'm going to put in a story. I'm going to tell a little spooky story, and I think that'll be fun. Um, and I think as far as, like, the Q&A and the chat, uh, I, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm not sure. So I'm hoping that um, you guys will not ask me any questions. Um, if anybody wants to leave a super chat um, just to support the channel, I think that'll be okay. Um, I know the members have been trying to get their questions asked. And um, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to fill that in. I might have to change that up. Like I said, I've been trying to figure out my days, but I've had a lot going on with my ex-mother-in-law. So I've been trying to kind of fit her into my time here. So it's been a little difficult. So uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, let's leave this reading here. And then, you know, Thursday is the weekend reading. That'll be tomorrow. And then Friday um, will be the spooky chat story. So yeah, if you guys have any suggestions of any kind of story, you want me to tell um spooky crime not too gross like come on anything uh definitely leave me a comment um i i guess underneath the video here and i'll take a look and see if there's anything you want we can talk about um yeah and i will see you back here tomorrow all right you guys bye <laughs>